crazy hair day. And I've got a mobile home to get ready to tear down tomorrow. So I'm gonna get this bucket off here, swap it out to the grapple. So I never put pins in here because trash, branches, and sticks, grab them and rip them out and the pin comes out and the bucket can fall. So I put a bolt in it all the time now. Swap to that thing. All right, plan is to crush everything that's in the trailer, smash it all down, tarp it, and then load the KX057, which I'm in right now, into my other dump trailer, and then dump this in the morning, come back, and load up the SVL75 and head out and start doing the uh, mobile home demo. All right, on my way to go do this mobile home demo, I wasn't able to find anybody to come do it with me, so I'm just gonna do it myself. And then uh, throughout the day, maybe I'll see if I can find somebody. But uh, I think my wife's gonna drive my dump trailer and my 75 out to the job and uh, see how that goes. But uh, right now I gotta get fuel and then go to the job, start getting it done. All right, this is the mobile home we're gonna be taking down today. Pulling all the windows out of it, anything glass. It's pretty nasty inside, so I'm gonna be disconnecting the gas in a minute. The water's already disconnected. I gotta disconnect the electric. All these windows out of it. It's pretty much one of the nastiest mobile homes on the inside that I've done so far. It's pretty disgusting inside. Smells pretty terrible. Pretty much looks like the inside of the truck that I got from them. It's pretty bad. All right, we're about to start demoing this mobile home. We got all the windows out of it. It's all ready to go. First thing we do when we get to the mobile home is we disconnect it. So we disconnect the gas, the water, the sewer, the electrical, and the cable if there is cable. Now, after that, we go inside, we remove anything glass, uh, glass plates, glass mirrors, anything like that, because picking up glass, raking up glass is the worst thing ever. When I do these mobile homes, it's always a two-person job. I never usually do it alone. I've done like, I think one alone, and it is terrible. It's it's a lot of work, it's a lot of raking, and you're regretting it the whole time because everything's going, you know, two times slower. So I'll have one person outside starting, and then I'll have myself inside, or vice versa, whatever. Um, one person will be removing all the glass, the mirrors, any light bulbs from inside. Um, anything that looks decent. I did remove a bicycle and a flat screen TV from this job. They were the only things that I could tell were worth anything and anything else was just gonna be left where it was. Um, the outside, the windows, as long as they're not retrofit, they're really easy to come out. All I usually use is a curl bar and a three inch inch uh, screw bit. And I just unscrew all the windows and they come right out. And the reason I do that is because when you smash into a trailer and the glass gets everywhere at the very end of raking it's just it sucks I've done it before picking up all that stuff sometimes you can't get all the windows out and they stay and those you do have to rake up but usually what I'll do is I'll just have a garbage can underneath it and I'll just break the window and they come in a they come out in big chunks so we'll just throw them into the garbage uh, sometimes it doesn't work out like that but that that's what I do when we first get to these mobile homes. So when we're about to smash into the thing, I get the water hose ready and my guy outside getting ready to wet everything down because these things get pretty dusty with all the insulation and just crap that's on on the top of them and on the sides. Just, it becomes a, 
a health issue with the neighbors. They, you know, I don't want anybody to complain about the dust, so I keep the dust down as best as I can. So when I crunch into the roof, it's usually a thin layer of sheet metal, and then it's styrofoam, and then you've got aluminum. So I'll rip all that down, I'll push it into the center. Any styrofoam that we can, I'll have my guy or myself, we'll both get it, just get it out of there. So I'll have myself in the excavator. I usually don't let people use the equipment on the jobs because there's gas, there's water to hit, and I don't wanna, I just don't wanna risk it. It's easier for me to not let somebody do that because you know somebody might forget. You know, I could forget, but usually I'm just focused on don't hit the gas line don't hit the water line. This job had a gas on the right side and had a water line on the left side. So I, I had to like get out once in a while, make sure everything was clear of the water line so I didn't break it because they're all plat, they're all steel pipes and I don't want to have to try to fix steel pipes, especially in a mobile home park, it's just a pain. So when we start with the uh, demolition of the actual mobile home, I'll grab one side of the mobile home and I'll pull it away from the gas meter when I start crunching into it with the excavator, I always start with the very front of the trailer and I work my way back. So I'll smash down the front, I'll take the roof and I'll throw it off to the side. And mainly it's styrofoam underneath the roof. So I'll take the styrofoam and we'll pick it up by hand and throw it into the trailer because if you start crunching into the styrofoam, it, it just turns into little pieces and then you get everywhere. As I'm tearing up the mobile home, I'm trying my best to take all the aluminum and the sheet metal and separate it, throw it in the pile and uh, just try to just deal with trash because I don't want to be throwing metal away but sometimes it's just not worth the time trying to pick each little piece out and save it. By the end of the day, a job needs to get done and I don't have time to mess around with scrap metal. So once I get the roof down and the walls kind of crushed into the center, I'll pick all that stuff up with the excavator, throw it in the dump trailer, and then I will rip the floor up and then we will get in with either a sawzall or a uh, concrete saw with a grind blade on it and we'll cut the metal and then we will pull the whole entire mobile home up as far as I can and just keep going working our way back this mobile home took one day start to finish we got there at about seven o'clock we left there at about I think uh, six o'clock or so uh, and the next day I came and I picked up the uh, skid steer and the excavator dump here. I'm gonna dump this stuff. We're gonna go back. We're gonna load up the metal. One more load of trash and then I'll take that stuff home. I'll deal with the metal later and then I gotta drop this guy off. All right, we're out at the dump here. About to dump this load of trash whenever we get to the front of this line because it's long and I don't know how much further it is over that hill.
all finally done. Trailer's full of trash. That's full of metal. Mowed, weed eated. Didn't break anything yet. I'm gonna dump these off and then I'm gonna go get my flatbed and come back for the equipment. All right, all the equipment's loaded. Job's done. See you on the next one.